I went there and I, I spent Shabbos in Israel in Kochel Shacha, and these people were B'nai Torah, but they were all working the land as well. After Musaf was over, we were all about to start walking home, and the rain came. And I saw something that, excuse the expression, it blew me away. Everybody ran outside, the children, the men, the women, everybody was dancing outside in the rain. And I'm thinking to myself, Gewalt, in Yeshiva, New York, it'll be raining, they say, ugh, ugh, ugh. And over here, they sing, Gish me brocha, you know, the whole world is alive from this rain. And I saw this connection that they had to the land. I said, wow, this is where we have come from, this is who we are. And it's lost, we're in Golis. I am Rafael Franklin, this is our farm, and this is one of the aspects of our farm, Pella Poultry, where we have a kosher slaughterhouse for chickens, ducks, geese, and squab, pigeon. I was born after the war. Uh, we, at the age of three, we left Brooklyn and we moved to Long Island. Long Island for me at that time was absolutely amazing because where we lived, there were very few houses, there were swamps and creeks and rivers. There were deer and rabbits and snakes. And there were turtles and frogs and toads. And it was amazing for me. So that's what I grew up with. Eventually, I managed to graduate high school and go to college. I became a wildlife biologist. In 1980, we bought this farm. We started raising some chickens for, for slaughter. And we started very small scale, the Chathila Shrita. It took off. We started out with three customers, then we had 10, then we had 50, then we had 100, and in a year I had a full-scale business. We keep the kashas to the maximum degree of level of kashas that we possibly can. So we focus very much on our private customers that are very demanding for the kosher standards and the cleanliness of the poultry. The quality of the poultry that we buy, we get it from special farms that raise them specifically to our needs and uh, everything goes slow, meticulous, careful. All the orders, the shrita, the bedikas, the malicha. We slaughter here in a week normally about eight or 10,000 chickens, about 1,400 to 1,700 ducks, and according to the orders, turkey and geese and pigeons, etc. I got a call from somebody. The vision of Rebbe is the Rebbe in Mansi needs milk. He doesn't eat any flesh eggs. Can we buy milk from you? So I said, yeah. So he started buying milk from me. He was my first customer. We had another customer and another customer. Before you know it, I have a little dairy going. And it was going well. We started to sell. We certified organic. And now we have this whole business. I live here on the farm. I own the cows, so it's like the classic holiday soul. We have chocolate milk, which obviously you have to shake this up, it's all natural, so there's no emulsifiers. You shake it up, and it is the best chocolate milk in the world. Uh, over here we have two different types of milk, and same with the yogurt we're making. This is Greek maple yogurt, and this is vanilla bean maple yogurt, and we have cheese also that we make. So on this farm, traditionally we've been milking between 30 and 40 cows, organic. So we have now, there's probably more demand for Kalabiso organic milk, which we can't possibly meet. But it's mostly distributed down to all the different neighborhoods in Brooklyn. At Muncie, it's very big. Crown Heights in Brooklyn is huge. To make a living from the land, Emes Mieretz Titzmach. It just produces for you directly. It's only coming, your panas is coming directly from Akkad Baruch And when that happens, what a bracha. So it's a, every farmer is religious. So that's what I do. Ultimately, when Mashiach comes, the Kibbutz HaGolius, we're going to come home 
we're going to be connected to land. It doesn't mean that we have to be farmers, but we're going to understand and appreciate God's gift of the order of nature, and we're going to work with it, not against it. Today we spent the day at Pella Farms. I met a lot of from farmers and farmsteaders and people really making really great product. And then we had a great opportunity to throw down some quick food outside. I love it by the fire. I love it when you're with me by the fire, Chef Isaac. Hey there, lonely cook. No? Hey there, lonely cook. You're my only cook. Oh, 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 oh,